Hi, this is Andy. Uh, we're starting to apply the uh, perforated metal to the uh, stair rails. Um, this is a little bit different technique than we've used in the past. Uh, most of the time we've used horizontal uh, tube members to fill in uh, the gaps in the rail uh, so that they meet uh, code requirements. This time we're using one inch round uh, aluminum perforated metal uh, bought locally from the McNichols company. Let's walk upstairs and uh, see what Chris and Tomek are doing um, as far as uh, rail assembly goes. Give you a quick shot of what these units look like now. We've just uh, closed up the uh, breakthroughs. But anyhow, let's not digress. Let's see what Chris and Tomek are doing. Chris, why don't you explain what you're doing here for us, okay? Well, okay. Um, I'm attaching the, the perforated uh, aluminum to our metal frame, which our welder is welding for us at the shop. Mm -hmm. um, basically, we're using a, using a two-inch uh, screw with a drill bit on the end of it. Yeah, self-tapping. Self-tapping. And we're using a... Three quarter inch spacer, yeah. which is a big nut. Just put in the washer first, then comes the screw, then another washer, and then the spacer. We'll let the perforated hang uh, three quarters off the frame, and then we just screw it together. That's it. Pretty easy. Last screws. So. Yep. Okay guys, thanks. Okay.